Nothing's worse than an overdue invoice that your customer hasn't paid. But a lot of the time, they just need a gentle nudge. Maybe you've been sending emails and they haven't noticed them, but perhaps if you sent an SMS, they might pay. I'll show you how to do that in this video. Within Zoho Books, you've got the option to run custom functions, and via a custom function, we can actually then fire off an SMS. Here's an example of one here where we show the amount, the due date, due date, and we also include a payment link. To achieve that, you'll use some code which generates a payment link, then that finds the CRM contact that's linked to the invoice, finds the invoice amount, and then it generates a SMS record in the CRM that will get sent out automatically. I'll share the code, but essentially you need to do a few things. One is before you can actually write this function, you need to go into your Zoho books and create a connection. It's a little bit strange to me that it's necessary to do, do this, but in order to actually be able to trigger Zoho books code from within Zoho books, you need to set up a connection. And for the code that I'm sharing with you, you need to have access to the contact scope, the customer payment scope, and the invoices scope. And I just added a few more in there just for the sake of it. So for that, you basically go create connection, and then if you search for Soho Books, and then if you go through the list, it's a little bit <laughs> cumbersome, but essentially look for invoices for all, contacts for all, and customer payments for all. And then do create and connect. Connect again, authorize it, connect again, accept, and you should be good to go. So now we've got a connection that we can then use in our custom function. To write the custom function, you go to automation, custom functions, new custom function, and essentially paste in the code that I'll share in the video description. You'll need to change the connection name to match whatever you created. And you probably will want to change the message text that you'll send. But this should give you a good starting point.